What's up guys, it's Robin and welcome to my channel. Today I am making for you the one and only cookie monster. This cake is going to be filled with cookies. So let's get into it. <laughs> so to start our yummy cookie monster cake, I'm just trimming down three six inch layers of delicious chocolate cake. So that way it stacks up nice and level when we assemble it. And since Cookie Monster is all about the cookies, this cake should be no exception. So since we're using chocolate cake layers for this cake, we're going to be using some white American buttercream in between each of those layers so that way it looks like an Oreo cookie when we slice it open. So I'm just going to take a nice big dollop of our buttercream and we're going to spread that out nice and thick and even all over our first layer of cake. And if it wasn't enough to look like a cookie when we cut it open, we are going to fill each of these layers with some delicious chocolate chip cookie crumbles and these are nice big crumbles so we get lots of chocolate chip cookie flavor. Alright, so we're just going to take a nice big handful and we are going to spread those out and we're actually going to press them down into the buttercream as well so that way it secures everything into place. Alright, now once you get that all filled in and you're pretty confident that there's lots of cookie crunch in every single bite, we're going to go ahead and add that second layer of cake, then repeat all those same steps that we did with the first layer and then we're going to take that final layer of chocolate cake flip it over and get that in place on top well i think it's looking pretty good so far and all this cookie talk has got me hungry as i'm sure it has for most of you now if you guys like what you see so far don't forget to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button too because i have lots more yummy cakes i want to share with you Alright, now that all of our layers are filled and overflowing with cookies, it is time for our crumb coat. So we are just going to take our small offset spatula, and try not to be a Butterfingers like me, and we're going to apply a nice thin layer of this buttercream all over our entire cake. Now, since we are going to be piping on Cookie Monster's fur, and it's actually really hard to pipe it so perfectly that you end up with no spaces in between, it's really important to color match your crumb coat to your outer layer so that way no underlying color shows through. Okay, and now once you have your cake fully covered and you have everything nice and smooth, we're going to get this cake off into the fridge to chill and firm up for a little bit before we add our final coat of icing. Okay, now we can work on some decorations and these are actually really simple and as you guys can see I've drawn up a very simple template of his eyes and his mouth and I've strategically cut them out using an X-Acto knife to create a stencil to work with. As you guys can see, you can also see that pattern on the back and it's also created somewhat of a perforation on the back side of the paper as well. So the first thing we're going to do is take a piece of white fawn and we're going to roll this out to about an eighth of an inch thick. Now we're going to take our stencil and we're going to lay that into place and give it a very light press down and when we pull it off, it should leave a slight imprint of the image that has been left behind from the perforation on the back side of the paper. Now this is a little bit difficult to see, so you will need lots of light, but this always works out so perfectly for me when I need to recreate an exact image. All right, now on to the black. So what we're doing here is rolling this out nice and thin, a little bit thinner than what we did with the white. Then I'm taking my stencil and marking off the eyes once again so we know where they're going to go. So now I'm taking the white part that I've cut out and I'm sticking those into place. And now we're going to mark off and cut out two pupils for the center of each eye. And these are going to be a little bit googly and off center because you know how Cookie Monster's eyes look. They're so silly. So we're just going to get those stuck into place and then we are going to take our X-Acto knife and we are going to cut all around the outside of both eyes leaving just a tiny little bit of black around the edge to create the look of an outline. Alright, now once you've trimmed away all the black and you're happy with how that looks, we're going to set those off to the side and start working on his mouth. So I've rolled out another big piece of black fondant and I'm using my stencil to mark off the pattern. And now we're taking our X-Acto knife to cut out that big silly Cookie Monster grin. My Cookie Monster, what a big mouth you have. All the more to eat cookies with. <laughs> 
Alright, now once you've finished cutting out this very simple design, which basically consisted of a bunch of different circles of different sizes and a very simple mouth, now we're just going to take our pattern and set that off somewhere safe while we finish preparing the rest of our cake. Ta-da! Alright, so our last and final step is to prepare a piping bag full of blue icing and we are using a number 133 grass piping tip. Now this is just a small one, you'll probably want to use a bigger one, but this is all I have so that's what we're going to use for today. Alright, now in one swift motion we are going to touch our tip to the cake, apply a slight amount of pressure and slowly release as we pull away from the cake. And now you'll just want to adjust your level of pressure depending on how long you want your fur to be. And then you're just going to repeat that all the way around the cake. Now this part is quite time consuming and can be quite taxing on your hand as well. So to minimize fatigue I do have a very helpful tip. It is very important to only partially fill your bag. If your bag is too full it will be harder to squeeze and therefore is going to make your hand cramp a lot easier and it's also going to make your hands shaky and your work less tidy and that's no good you don't want that so it's very very important to just use a little bit in the bag so that way it keeps your hand full and requires less pressure to squeeze that icing out all right guys all our piping work is done so it's time to give our fuzzy little monster a face all right, so we have two big googly eyes for looking for all them cookies, a great big mouth for gobbling them all up, and a couple of cookies on the side for snacking on later on. Isn't he so cute? Now to cut this cake and see how it looks inside. Well, that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up and leave me lots of love in the comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to eat your vegetables.